Okay, folks, look, don't trip. I know you guys looking around and saying, that's not AB's kitchen, right? Listen, I'm standing next to my boy right here, Kelly Hunter, better known as the king of foods, right? I ain't gonna lie to y'all, you know what I mean? I, that name, you know what I mean? Do it sit good with me? I don't know. But I'm gonna say, hey, we the kings of food. There you go, there you go. All right, so listen, I'm out here in North Carolina. I'm in his kitchen, and listen, I'm gonna let him take over so that I don't, you know, do no over-talking, you know what I mean? We'll go over the ingredients and all of that, but he's gonna tell you what we're making today, and check us out. You guys gonna love it. You know why? Because it's football season. That's right, it's football season. Forget spinach dip, all that stuff for game day. We're going to do some collard green dip. I mean, listen, you're gonna to wanna to take spinach dip and forget about it, man. We about to have some fun. Y'all ready? Come on, let's go. Man, we about to go over this ingredients, starting with this collard green dip. Of course, we gotta have the greens, the collard greens, of now, course. Got, you know, I gotta say something, folks. Mm -hmm. Listen, I don't like to see my greens like this. So I got to ask you, did you cut these or did you buy these in a bag already cut? Man, I'm bougie, man. I had to cut them myself because I hate stems. Like whether it's a precise cut or not, one thing you will not see on here is stems. I hate stems. I cut these with my bare hands, baby. You know what I'm saying? We gotta do it the right way. Listen, if he wasn't my boy, I'd ask you right now, like, let me look in your trash, man. Let me find this. <laughs> you know what I'm Hey, <laughs> yeah, that's right, that's right. And hey, we go in the trash, we're gonna see the double but stills, man, because I don't play by those stills. Man, we got some smoked turkey. We're gonna do a, a onion. Texas seed, this is my all-purpose joint. I can put this sucker on everything. Caribbean mustard, a dash. We're gonna do a splash of apple cider vinegar. I always like to keep this once every blue moon. I like to keep this, that Lipton um, soup onion, that Lipton onion soup, just a little dash of that. Then, of course, we're gonna do the cream cheese, the mozzarella cheese parmesan, and a little bit of deuce mayo. Hey, wait, 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 mm -hmm. I gotta come back over here now. All right, let's go. I already talked about the greens. Now, mm -hmm. everybody know on my channel, I talk about we do not do bad cheese, but I got it for this right here. Only reason I don't do it, you know what I mean? Because it's got that waxy, it's mm -hmm. got that, uh, what, that flour, that wax on it so that it doesn't stick. This is why I don't, because when you do real cheese and do it in a bag or a Ziploc, you know, it'll stick together. But I got it for this right here, this application, I think this will be just fine. Now, I really want to address this right here. Hey, look, he got that Dukes, folks. Now, I put Dukes in every now and then, but you know, I like that best food. Mm. And I got it, what, Dukes, Hellman, uh -huh, uh -huh. this is your tool of choice. I'm in mm. your backyard, and we about mm. to get it though, bro. I'm gonna tell you something, man. Um I actually got on Deuce the last two years or so. I, I've been in Hellman's my whole life, but you know, a lot of people here are from Maryland, Baltimore, different places like that, and they put me on that Deuce, so I've been on that ever since. All right, and then we got, uh, what, tortillas right here? I guess we're gonna cut these down. You know, fry these, get them going. Everywhere. Of course, guys, you, you you cannot have a dip. You cannot have a spinach dip, collard green dip, or chicken, you cannot have, you gotta have, you gotta have some chips with it, but we're not gonna go to the grocery store and just grab some. We're not gonna be lazy like that. We're gonna make some homemade tortilla chips. Lemon pepper chips, actually, it's gonna be fun. So that explains why he got this right here. Look, this is just lemon pepper. Hey, this right here is fire. I make my own, but you know I stand by what he's doing right here. Everything that he has, I like, but if you guys know me, and you see in my videos, these two right here, oh, no, this one, this one, and this one. I'm gonna I'm go out on the limb and say, that's why you picked these uh, <laughs> uh, ingredients. You right about you that. Know, this video, I got it, man, so we'll put all that there. Let's go ahead and clean this up, and then check this out, folks. He trying to win me over right here. Hey, he didn't have, how long you had this night, man? Man, I ain't gonna lie, I had it for about two days. <laughs> oh, you just got it? But I just got it. I just okay. got a suck of the mail. But I've been saying for, how, how long have I told you, man, hey, man, I gotta get your knife, I can get your yeah, knife. That's true. I, I that's said, true. man, you, you you cannot come to my boat and not, and me not have your knife. So we, we, gotta, we gotta cook with that knife today. I got it. So look, let's go ahead and clear this up, and then uh, let's get started, folks. All right, so look, we done cleaned out the surface, and then I got ahead of myself, folks. Listen, I started already just shredding this down. I'm gonna show you guys what I'm gonna be doing with this, right? I'm gonna go ahead and break this down. He has the tortillas. Hey man, I feel like you got me out here on the edge doing all the talking, you know what I mean? Man, I'm about <laughs> to say something right now, man. Uh, once again, we're not going to the grocery store and grabbing tortilla chips out of the bag. If we're gonna tailgate, we're gonna tailgate the right way. Now, I'm not gonna use no flour, no dough, I'm not gonna do any of that, but we, I am gonna grab some tortillas, chop them boys up, Fry them, throw some lemon pepper garlic on there. We about to have a good old time, man. I'm about to get started right now. And I want to know, man, if you say you like me, we boys and all that, you got me working with cold, smoked turkey. You know, <laughs> it's tough as I don't know what. You know what I mean? Hey, we couldn't have never boiled this down just a little bit, bro. Mmm. I got you covered next time. I got you covered next nah, time. It's all good, man. Yes, sir. You know what? I'm saying that because it's the first time I ever, you know, had the turkey like this. I've never done it. You know, because it's always... When it comes to the turkey parts, I'm putting them in, you know, my greens or something like that, mm -hmm. you know, for the flavor. I am really interested in having this dish right here, bro. You know what I mean? Because I, I don't even think that way to like change the spinach up to the college. 
You know what I mean? So I'm sure this is going to turn out to be everybody's favorite. Man, just like what Stan said for Martin, changed my life. <laughs> I like that. Man, listen, I'm like a skin fanatic. I'm like my man from uh, Forrest Gump, man. When it comes to skin, I put skin on everything, whether it's loose skin, whether it's crunchy skin, however you want. Again, I sound like Bubba from, from Forrest Gump, man, but hey, I put my skin on everything, man. Ain't nothing wrong with it, bro. I like it like that way, too. Now, look. Okay, look, I got these chunks of this, you know, smoked turkey, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and dice this down just a little bit. So look, I want you to look at that and tell me, do you want it smaller than that? No, that, that's good, that's good right there. Okay. Mm-hmm, that's good. I'm gonna say any finer than that, you want me to dice it? No, 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 I like it just like that. People get to taste that turkey hey, we up gonna in pause. there. All right, now we go, all right. <laughs> <laughs> a splash of Thanksgiving feel, you know what I mean? Man, we almost, it's almost that time, man. It's time to cook. We got the collard greens cut. You know, we got the corn tortillas cut. We got a smoked turkey cut, onions cut. Cut, cut, cut. We are time to eat. Let's go. Hey, you know what? Before we uh, get over there and go to the stove, I just want to talk about this. This is an artichoke, folks. I know you guys looking at it, and you know me. I like to have them props, right? So listen, I'm going to set this back here because this just represents an artichoke. You know what I mean? But we doing collard green. What do you say? What is it? It's collard green what? Collard green dip. Not collard spinach green. dip. Collard green dip. Got it. All right, man. So first, we're going to start sauteing. But before we do any of that, we're going to go ahead and preheat the oven at 350 degrees. Make sure, because that's going to take about five minutes. So let's go and get started. So we're about to saute these collard greens. Man, we're going to keep this super simple. Put this around medium, a little higher than medium. We're going to throw a little a dash of olive oil in here. Let me go ahead and get this sucker open. All right, we're going to throw ahead a dose of olive oil. All right, we're going to throw the, I like to use sweet onions. Throw that sucker in there. Man, we threw some, we diced some smoked turkey. We're going to throw some smoked turkey in there. One, two, three, we're going to let it saute after it sautés a little bit. Then we're going to go ahead and throw the greens on there. We're going to have some fun. You know what I want to do? I just want to say this. This is for all the people that ask me, how come I'm always using like a, a camping burner or a burner? The purpose is for me to be able to have it so you guys can see everything that we do, right? So when you see he's on the stove right here, it's kind of hard for, especially it's me and him. How are we going to do that? You're going to see the back, which is hard for the camera position. I just wanted to say that so some of you guys can uh, just see it. All right, you see all these collard greens right here? It's gonna cook down to probably about a fifth. So we're gonna go ahead and just stuff the pan with collard greens so this sucker's gonna cook down. We're gonna add a little more a little later. It's gonna cook down a little bit. What I am going to add is Caribbean mustard, man. Um, listen, this sucker is amazing, right? I'm gonna go ahead and add maybe about six tablespoons of that in there. Then my number one seller, Texas seasoning. Put this on your greens. You put that blankety blank on everything. I can't curse on here, but I'm gonna put some of that in there. And I'm just gonna do maybe a half a cap full of apple cider vinegar. Just a half a cap full. And you know what y'all, I like, I like. I like to use a little bit once in a while of the Lipton's onion soup mix. I like to use a little bit of that in there. That's my little secret when I'm making just all type of stuff, man. No, so what I'm hearing is, listen, what you're doing is you're building a whole lot of, you're building layers on top of layers. Mm -hmm. I got it. Like most people use this, like sometimes they're using it to make what? Hamburgers and all that for the flavor. Yeah, exactly. That's what you're talking about. Mm -hmm. so do you have any issue about, about I'm not putting the lid on it, like making, helping it steam so the weather? Oh, um, I mean, you can, you can, or whatever it would be. Okay. Yeah, you can. I'm asking, though, man. I'm just... Oh, no, 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 no. Actually, um, it would probably work best if I add um, a lid on there. But right now, I got a look for, lid's probably in the cabinet somewhere. So, you know. But as it's cooked down, I'm going to just add the rest of this and just let that sucker cook. All right, so listen, I want you guys to see how I look like in different stages, right? It's really ready to come off. It's nice and soft. And again, he did not put, you know, it didn't cover it. Look, let me go ahead and bring this, because we're taking this off anyway, right? Yeah. All right, so it. I'm going to bring it right here. I want you guys to take a look at it. Right, you guys can see. It's hard to see, like, really the texture, but this is uh, cool for greens. You know what I mean? Uh, and you say this is the texture that we want, right? That's all right. Oh, my goodness. I'm not an expert on this. If you guys want to know why I'm not uh, working on this stove, because this right here scared me, man. I got I got to see my fire. Mm. So do you want me to just leave it over here? Uh-huh, yeah, yeah, leave, leave it over here. So, so we, we, we go ahead and we go ahead and add the cream and all that fun stuff to it. 
All right, man, here's the fun part, man. You know, with the collard green dip, here's the dip part. We're gonna add a little bit of mayonnaise. We're gonna add, first we're gonna add some mayonnaise to the sucker. I'm gonna probably do about maybe two big scoops, maybe two and a half, three, bam, here we go. Then I'm gonna use about a jar of some, um, of some cream cheese. Throw some cream cheese in there. Just throw that sucker in there like that. Then we're gonna add a whole bag of mozzarella cheese and then a half a bag of Parmesan. We're gonna mix it up to see what the consistency, consistency looks like. And then we're gonna go from there. And then as soon as we have the consistency to our liking or to my liking, then we're gonna throw that sucker right back in the oven and let it cook for about 15 minutes so we can have us some good game day, good eating. Hey, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and move these out the way, man, because they're mm. starting to kill me. Mm. You know what I mean? And I'll be the main one trying to have a prop. Hmm. Let's put these up. Mm -hmm. Ready yet? We can go in your backyard and throw these around and play catch, huh? <laughs> yeah. And I'm going to be honest with y'all, guys, I'm one of those cooks where I taste as I go. So I'm just not going to say, oh, it looks good. Let's throw it in the oven. I'm going to taste it first. So if I need to add any modifications to it, I don't want to do that. Because when I cook, I like to be the star of the show as far as taste-wise or whatever the case may be. So I'm going to look at the consistency first, but I am going to taste it I before I throw that sucker back in the oven. Hey, man, what you just said, homie, is the only way you cook. You must taste as you go. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I see so many people when they finish their dishes, they add something to it. Like, uh, I don't know. Do it right. Unless it's sodium. You know what I mean? I like to tell everybody, I use so much sodium, but I'm trained for it. If that, you want more, do it on your own plate. That's right. It's better to add salt than take away salt. Hey, you know what? Now that I see you looking like this, look, that's the way it should be. <laughs> Man, listen. After I'm done with this. Hey, y'all come in here and take a look at that right there. But you know me, if I do anything like that, what would I level that up with? Y'all know, I had a bacon in there. Mmm. Mm. Ooh, hey, hey listen, when the cameraman starts saying stuff like that, <laughs> you know he been around too long. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey, and that ain't doing, that's right. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, man, now we about to, before we throw this sucker in the oven, I like to taste my food before I make sure that it's right. So let's go ahead and taste it to make sure if we need to do any modifications or is it good the way it is? Let's see, let's see, let's see. And we ain't done yet either. Mm -mm. I'm gonna throw that stuck in the oven, so let it marinate. I'm about to have some good old tailgating food. Y'all ready? I'm sorry if you looked at my face and heard my tone. I was like, hey, it is good. It's not right there, fire. Let's go ahead and finish it up. Put it in that oven and let it do its time. Okay, folks, look, this is done. I don't know if we really put a a time on it, you know what I mean? I don't remember you saying like an exact time. We said between 15 and 20. 15, this is more 20. like, this is really 20 to 22. So if you guys come on in here and take a look at this right here. Just like Kevin Hart said. Somebody come in here and take a look at it. You see that right there? When it starts to look like this, this is when you want to take it out. You know what I mean? So I'm gonna go ahead and just break this cap on it like that. Mm. Oh man, this is right, bro. Mm. Just the aromatic that comes up off of this is right. You know what I mean? Oh, and you know what? We had a little bit of extra turkey. I'm gonna go ahead and give up the real. You know, anything that I do, folks, I like to do it more on the meaty side. You know what I'm saying? So we added that to it. And look at that right there. Tell me you wouldn't get some of that. All right, man. Hey, it's time to cut these tortilla chips. Man, that grease is hot and ready to go. Let's go. Now, we're just gonna put about this amount because we don't wanna stuff them. We want them suckers to cook evenly. We're gonna, as soon as they get brown and crispy, we're gonna take them out and sprinkle some of that good old lemon pepper seasoning on that boy. All right, the chips are done. The chips are done. We about to pour it into this pot right here. I just pop this bowl. Like my dog Chef Ray say, sizzle, sizzle, pop, pop. Like Luke, now it's time to make it drop. We're gonna go ahead and throw these chips in this bowl. And now it's time for the fun part. This is my favorite part right here. Favorite part. Now we're about to Put some seasoning on that boy, lemon, pepper, garlic. This honey's lemon, pepper, garlic. Let's go ahead and shake this sucker, man. We're gonna go ahead and toss it up like what Tupac say, toss it up. I'm gonna just throw a little more lemon pepper on that boy. All right, let me go ahead and taste real quick. Changed my life. Hey man, of course you're gonna say that. Mm -hmm. You know what? Let me let, let me go get ahead, over go ahead, here. Go hey, ahead, go ahead. Hey, I, ain't, I don't want to die, man. Go ahead, go, on, ahead man. go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. All right, let's see what we got here.
<laughs> All that. But they fire, folks. He had to like pop my hand and tell me, hey homie, we gotta finish this video. Now, what I wanna tell you is, I've already tasted, I'm not gonna fake no funk. This right here is fire. I'm gonna say this for all the people that really love uh, collard greens. If you do, you probably would never have it no other way. You know, this right here is gonna be one of the like premier dips back in my house, you know what I mean? So listen, I'm not finna over talk it, homie. Uh, I say it's great. Go ahead and let's get it. I'm gonna go ahead and take this one right out already. Man, let's get it, man. Once again, like I said, man, this game day holiday, man, that collard green dip, you can't beat it. Hey, right off the back, when you say holiday, I think about Christmas. This would be great to put this out with your family, all, everybody around, telling stories, all of that. Well, you can't beat this. No. Hey, that's all she wrote, man. No more talk, man. I'm ready to get down, man. Hey, y'all come in, grab, grab some, man. We can, I can't eat this by myself. Okay, folks, what I can tell you is that right there is truly, truly, truly fire, right? So, I'm going to say this right now, man. Hey, thanks for having me, bro. Thanks for showing me something new. Yeah, welcome to the Queen City, man. That's right. And listen, all this information will be right here. I don't know if it's here, across my face, across my chest or whatever, but that's Kelly Hunter, the king of foods. And don't forget, you guys can tap in and check him out down in the description box below. Hey, with that being said, you know, anything you want to say? Or you good? Man, listen, man. Once again, thank you for coming to the Queen City, man. We're going to have a good time this weekend. I'm going to show them to a few of the eateries, man. And you know, thank you for having me, man. We out. You heard it? We out. Peace.